Hey there again, Erica Swarthy Daisy. Quick video on Ancestry DNA's new feature for 2018, and it's their traits results. For $9.99, Ancestry DNA allows you to use their app to pay through your iTunes to access additional features such as trait features. And we'll take a look at some of those trait categories. Let's take a look at the sensory category. Asparagus metabolite detection. It says that my DNA suggests that I probably notice a distinctive smell when I pee after eating asparagus. Sweet sensitivity. It says the DNA that they tested suggests that I'm probably less sensitive to sweet. Savory umami sensitivity. It says my DNA suggests that I'm probably extra sensitive to umami or savory flavors. Bitter sensitivity. It says my DNA tells them that I might be extra sensitive to certain bitter tastes. Cilantro aversion. It says my DNA tells them that I probably like the taste of cilantro. Appearance. Cleft chin. So it says that based on the DNA that they tested, I probably don't have a cleft chin. Earlobe type. It says that my DNA tells them that I probably have attached earlobes. Finger length. It says that my DNA tells them that my index or pointer finger may be longer than my ring finger. Earwax type. It says my DNA tells them that I probably have wet earwax. Eye color. Based on my DNA, it looks like I probably have dark eyes. Hair strand thickness. My DNA tells them that I probably have hair strands that are of average thickness. Freckles. My DNA suggests that I'm freckle free. Hair color. It looks like I've got the DNA for darker hair. Hair type. The DNA that they tested suggests that my hair is naturally wavy. Iris patterns. My DNA suggests that I have two types of eye-catching iris patterns, furrows and rings. Male hair loss. My DNA suggests that me or my close male relatives have a low chance of hair loss. Skin pigmentation. My DNA suggests that I have darker skin tone. Unibrow. Based on the DNA that they tested, they think I might have a unibrow. Months ago, I took a survey through Ancestry DNA to give the company some information about my traits. My information versus DNA results. So as far as a cleft chin, I said no, they're correct, no cleft chin. Then as far as the earlobe type, they said that it was attached, but I said it was unattached, so they were incorrect. And as far as earwax type, I reported wet earwax, and they did as well. I reported that my ring finger is longer than my index. They said that my index finger was longer, so that's not correct. I don't have freckles, which is correct. And as far as my hair thickness, I reported it as fine. They said it was average. And hair type, tight curls is what I reported, and they said my hair was wavy, which is not correct. I didn't provide any answers for male hair loss, but they reported it as low. And then skin pigmentation, I said very dark brown, and they reported me as dark. And then as far as a unibrow, I said no, and they said that I had a likelihood of a unibrow, which is not true. The traits test was pretty entertaining, in my opinion. I'm sure in the future, they'll continue to release additional traits. If you're interested in your DNA providing more information, such as traits, then I think it's worth the $10 upgrade. As I'll show you in a future video, 23andMe also has traits that actually come with their kit. But in this instance, Ancestry decided to do an upcharge for it. Please check the description box below if you're interested in checking out a DNA kit. Thank you guys so much for watching again. This is Erica Swarthy Daisy. Bye.